I'm Mr. Fauche, and this is my introduction to robotics engineering class. One of the things we worked on recently was to program a sound wave generator where we can actually determine or control the frequency of the sound output from this LabVIEW program. And uh, since we're going to um, make a program, let's just see if it can actually do something, right? So I have here a playing tube, obviously. This tube is connected to natural gas. The natural gas supplies a whole region of flammable natural gas in this tube. And as you can see from these birthday candles, they're evenly spaced and hot because the gas pressure is pretty constant. However, when I turn on the sound wave generator, what's gonna happen is that this loudspeaker over here is going to start pulsing the gas. As it pulses the gas, it's going to have sounds of different, it's going to have uh, regions of different density. These regions of different density are going to have different flame heights. And the distances between the top, the highest flames will depend on the, uh, the frequency of the sound. Let me demonstrate. As you can see over here, I have different flame heights. And what I can do is find the distance between, with the meter stick, I can find the distance between the highest flame heights, and that will be the two highest crests. And I can find the uh, wavelength of this, of this sound in this tube if I want to. We'll have a different sound. You can see that, once again, I have different flame heights. You can see the wavy sine wave pattern. So here I have a crest and a trough, and a crest and a trough, and so on, repeating patterns. And once again, if I find the distance between the top of the crest and this top of the crest, I'm finding the wavelength of this wave. Now this is interesting uh, and useful because there's an equation that students learn in their freshman physics class. They learn that velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength. So if we know the sound wave frequency, and I do know from this, this uh, indicator, and I measure the wavelength, then if I know the frequency and the wavelength, I can find the velocity or speed of the sound traveling across the natural gas. I can find the speed of sound going through various flammable gases. I can find the speed of sound traveling through butane, the speed of sound traveling through um, propane with this equation they learned in their freshman physics class. I'm gonna try a different frequency. You can see the higher the frequency, the closer the, uh, the, closer the crests are because high frequency sounds have very short wavelengths. So another useful application of this. In fact, students can even take their cell phone and play some music, and uh, they'll see the different rises and falls of the flames with the music. Because what's more interesting, I always ask my students, sound um, or music? And the answer is sound and music, which we'll do next. Thank you.